Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I'm Jim Classic, and you are watching Game Night. A little late today, but Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom audio is good. Video is good. Everything's good. Let's go. Everything is awesome. Hmm. Ah, good stuff. Anyway... Last night, oh yes, last night, I spent the entire stream at Hateno Village, Hateno Village. Um, whew, whew. Alright, so, I'm going to look around a little bit more, I see a couple of waterfalls, I want to see if there's some caves behind them. Oh, that's right, my new hat, and yeah, my new hat, look at me go, look at me. Okay. Uh, there's a waterfall over here, I think. I think. Yeah, right here. Um, uh, excuse me. Hey! <coughs> what? There we go. Not wrong button. Nope, okay. Nope. Let's go over to that water fountain. I wanna water water waterfall. I wanna make sure there's no caves, because one of the tourists mentioned something about um Miss Go's hidden fashion treasure. Interest about look. Oh, well, that's definitely. Nope. Okay. Nope. Thought there was another water fountain. Oh, I keep calling it a damn water fountain. Oh, whatever. Look, we'll just keep going this way. Rusty broadsword. Oh, thank you. No, sir, I don't want it. That might be what I'm thinking of over there. I just want to make sure, you know, check the areas for caves and stuff. And otherwise, move on. Maybe do a quest or two. What's the little kid doing out here? No one can see me! Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is where the lake was. The bottle is. Wrong button again. Oh, well, there's a Korok. <laughs> yeah, you found me. Bye bye. Well, at least I found a Korok. So, that's good. That's a big tree. Alright, let's see. Keep hitting that button. I don't know why. 
Alright, uh... <clears throat> Going to Mountain. Hmm. Alright. Keep going that way. In fact, we'll just might as well fast travel. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably take care of that. Let's go! You know, don't I have <coughs> some boots made for running? Sand boots? No. Thought I had snow boots specifically for running. I must be thinking of the sand boots. Yeah, okay, I guess I was wrong. <sighs> hmm. Didn't think it would be that far away and the radar would activate, but okay. Closer. Closer and closer. Let's see what's up there with that camp. There's something up there. Up there. <laughs> I see below. It's below me. Below me. It's probably a cave or something. Hi. We meet again. Hope you're well. As always, I'm on the hunt for more bugs. You're not gonna find many bugs out here in the snow. Since we're both here, let me buzz your ears with some bug facts. Yeah. Winter bug butterflies and cold darners are chilly. Yeah, they call chilly regions like this their home. All right, I guess I was wrong. They actually can be combined with monster parts in a pot and make heat-resistant elixir, if you can believe it. Mm -hmm. I prefer to watch wintering butterflies glide through the snowy air. They're such graceful creatures. I can't count the number of times I've gotten so caught up in watching them that I've lost my way in the mountains. <laughs> and that's what. And that's it for Doctor Water's insect crash course. Hope we meet again somewhere soon. And then go right to the rain, huh? I thought that was a cave. Huh. 
just... Oh, shit. Knock it off. Alright, let's do this. Yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, okay, that one's down. Oh, oh. Oh! Nice! That was mostly an accident. Damn it! Might be a bit overkill. What? There you go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get off! 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 Uh I'm not wearing a full outfit. Get off me, you idiot. Oh, okay. Doesn't automatically go for the eyes. That's it? Holy. Holy moly. Oh, I hate that thing. Surprised, uh... <laughs> oh, I see. Without weapons, he barely did any damage. Well, that's reassuring. That'd be a first, too, because normally... Even with the shittiest of weapons, this guy can take half my health away. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So. Fucking grants, anyway. Um.
I, I got. Well, no, we're gonna go back to the. Uh, I'm going back to that because I don't know if I'm gonna have to go back and you know, like I don't know if I'm gonna have to cross back to the snow area. Or... Not to say. Oh, I think I see a core rock at least. Done this? Maybe I haven't. Oh, I see. What? No, 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 no. Behind there. Monsters, monster camp. Oh. I'm gonna run over there anyway and and see what I can find. Maybe there's like another shrine that's not attached to a layer. I don't, I don't know. Okay, again, it's saying below. So. I don't want to go back to the uh, tundra, I think. Surprised my shield is not a map return to ice in this weather. I know it's directly below. But I gotta find a cave first. Not a cave. I mean, unless I have a sho unless I can get a shovel in this game and start digging my way down. That is. Hmm. 
Well, where there is or bats, there is cave. <laughs> Come on. Did I scare them all away? Yes, I did. Where all the parts go then? Oh, good. Ha! What? What? Yes, yes, yes. I, I, well, I see the cave. Oh, I can't really... Well... Did you get that from there? No. But, can I do that? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess it dropped again. Oh well. They, they 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 serve their job. That's a big case. Discovery. Oh, get up there, you idiot. That's Moss. to the Goron. So, well, no, you don't. Oh. 
windshield. No, thank you. Oh, there's the shrine. What is that up there? Oh, cobbles. Alright, I guess one problem at a time. Let's take care of the marching band of idiots. The sticky frog suit that doesn't really work at the best. I mean, you're, when it comes to the frog suit, your results may vary. Oh, get up there, you idiot! You're right there! You fucking moron! Literally, right there. Right there! You moron. No, no, no! We're doing it again! Get up there, you fucking bitch. Now he's pissing me off. Yeah, go drown for his like. It's moss! First off, it's moss. He's not gonna slip on moss. God damn this game. It's got mm, it's wonky physics! Yeah, go drown. See if I fucking care, asshole. You only have yourself to blame. Oh, if only I had, you know, reached up the top, which I did, but for some reason just decided to fall down. Ooh, this game pisses me off sometimes when it's dumb. But you know what? Go fuck yourself, game. There. I cheated. What was that? I couldn't, I couldn't access the paraglider. Like, Link just locked up and froze on me. We're doing it again. Because, you know, I can only put up with so much stupid. Yeah. There. Wow. It's like I had gone up there already before, but Link decided, oh, no, I'm going to drown instead. It's more fun that way. Idiot. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do the shrine first. Hundred thirty-three blessing. All right, take it. <laughs> sure, I don't have to really work for it. I'll take it. Ah. Uh. Visitor to the shrine of Oh my god, what the fuck are you wearing? 
You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Really wearing that outfit, some of the evil should just come like <laughs> coalescing back in. The light of blessing, a crystal that glows in the light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the light of blessing grant you the strength that you seek. And you. Yes! <laughs> oh shit! fast. Okay, so ice freezes. Oh, hi. Excuse me. Push him into the water. I guess not. Why'd you do that, Link? Wait, hold on. Yes! Oh, he's down. He's done.
Oh, it's down there in the water. Okay. Well, I can probably just, you know. Come on. Come on. Really? You know, what I wonder is, I hope that meat isn't like, you know, people. I think that'd be extraordinarily bad. Now, there's still a cave full of vocabulary to take care of. I was hoping that would work. I don't really feel like dealing with it. You know what? Hold on. Well, thirty-five. Nah. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who told you to do that? I literally hit the A button. Silver. Usually the silver ones are harder to kill. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, well, let's get into the appropriate swimming gear. Scare them off. Fuck. Oh, it's a cave here. Okay. 
takes me over here to the water. Huh. I did not know that. I wonder if the same caves in Breath of the Wild, too. Boy, now I have to, now I have to go back to Breath of the Wild and see what the differences really are. Wait a minute. Uh, no check mark, no bubble frog. Gotta go back. Where the Booble Frog Cave Bay? Hmm. Well, there's a bomb. That's always helpful. Oh, wait. Unless that's an area I already came from. Which might be. This might be the area. Yeah, this is right. But either way, I'm. Um, Go through there anyway, so. Or that might be working from. So either way, it's worth it's worth looking into. What? Ah, Google gem. Thirty six, huh? I've actually found quite a few since I, uh, you know, uh, since basically he said, oh, there's still 96 left to go. Oh, God, why? Oh, right there, yeah. Okay. We're going to continue on that route. The. Ooh, excuse me. It needs to be a fast way to run. There's a 
cave over there behind the water fountain, which I already found. One of these days I'm about to break up the Wii U and get to play Breath of the Wild, because, I don't know. Maybe discover some things I didn't know about in that game. That's interesting. What is that? Guess I must be staring at that thing. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm looking at that. Alright, anyway. So. Right there. I must do it real quick before it starts raining. When the light of the bloodstained moon shines upon the land, the restless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. The game's not going to do it anymore. I might as well. Other than that, we're just sitting here in awkward silence, and that's uncomfortable for everyone. Like a bad Zelda impersonation is that uncomfortable as it is. So I wonder if there are any more caves here. Yeah. Probably are. The promenade. Now, I've already been to that cave. I really couldn't tell you. But, I guess I'll find out. I don't know. Oh my god, I thought you were going to be a problem. Why didn't you jump, dude? You didn't jump because... Reasons? Oh, never mind, I guess this is, uh, yeah. Okay. What is over here? I forget. Check mark, so I've already got whatever's in here. Really, game? It's a terrible time. I'm guessing I've already been back here. I don't really remember. Yep. But whatever. Lizzle shields. No. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a step up from the wooden shields. That's for sure. 
I must have already come back here. I mean, I got the Google Frog already, so. Yeah, I had to. Boy, that doesn't look ominous. Uh, oh, I forget his name. Shiden. Oh, I don't know if I've been back here. No thanks. Okay, I guess I lowered too. <laughs> Damn it, just I just wanted to see if there's a Korok here or something. Guess not. I'm just kind of aimlessly wandering around looking for caves, but I really should get back to a quest or something. I just, there's so much of this game I just haven't done yet. And it's like... For, for, first off, considering the fact that I've been playing since July of last year. June of last year. June? May! I don't know. May or June. Whatever. Of last year. It's like, you know... Okay. I have no problem using this on your close range, buddy. What? Oh, yeah, we'll do that then. Never do that again because you didn't do that in the first place. There. That's what you get, asshole. That's what you get for lying. Yeah, it's 1040. Yeah, well, I, I did start late today. Um, badly damaged. Badly damaged is translation for barely used. Yes.
<laughs> How? How? You can make it make sense, Yanobo. Yes. That's it for him. Ah, you guys don't like the water. In. Okay. Alright. Let's find a quest. What else is there? Well, there's plenty of stuff to do around here. Right. What does this guy need? Requires three diamonds. Five pieces of flint and the Zora spear it assures you that a decayed sphere will work. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let us go to Lookout Land. If I can find it. <laughs> okay. So, what am I doing? Just get a regular outfit. Oh, that's right. I forgot Hestu's not here anymore. He went back to the Lost Woods. Or is he still here? Maybe, I don't know. I know he's at the Lost Woods, but maybe he, uh, no, he's, he's, yeah, he left. Alright, damn it. Darn it all. Uh. Take all your arrows. Mm -hmm. And. Hey, look there. It's a head ten of cheese. Alright, yeah, let's go to the Lost Woods. I have a lot of, uh,. I got a lot of Korok seeds to cash in. Could use an extra weapon or two. I better have enough for an extra weapon slot. Well, there and there you are, my friend. Shaka Kala. I smell Korok seeds on you. If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand the size of your inventory. So, you want more room? Yes. Shalaka! Which stash should I expand? Weapon stash. 45. Oh my god, dude. Alright. Yeah, okay. Here you go! Let the expansion begin! <sighs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Expand band weapon stash. Chakala. Chakalo, I can expand your weapon stash no further. What? What? You're killing me. Sorry. I still smell Quarak seeds on you. Want me to make your pouch even bigger? Yeah. Show Oh, Never mind. Uh, let's try the shield. Ten. Let 
the expansion begin? <laughs> so fucking stupid. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Expand the band shield stash. Shakala. I still smell seeds on you. you. Want me to make your pouch even bigger? Well, I can't afford your prices right now. Shakala. Come back again. You bet. You bet I will. Zora's domain. Let's look around for a. Uh, look around for a sh uh, spear. I wonder if I wonder if I've taken any pictures of one, so I can, you know, do, with my radar. I don't know if I have. We'll find out in a minute, though. But even if I run around the ruins for a bit, I might find something. Uh, what am I doing? Well, there's a stick. Wait, what's that? The eightfold long blade and the eightfold long. Oh, so there's a difference between like the perfect and the. Okay. <laughs> throwing spear. Oh, come on, that's it's more than just a throwing spear. Nice halberd, soldier spear, traveler spear. Damn it. Something tells me it would have been over here or something. Gerudo spear. Well, maybe not. Bloom spear. Royal bow. Great eagle bow. Yeah, we're at the bows now. Alright. Alright, well, uh... Just to start looking around. Pop that itch. Up we go. Well, we're going to venture off to... Oh, okay. We're going to venture off to Zora's Domain. Probably find something out there in the, uh... Yeah. You know, the great outdoors. See something over there. I mean, I'm not saying it's a spear, but it's a door. I kind of remember running around here like a jerk in Breath of the Wild. Oh, wait, if I remember correctly, these are, right, these are the eight, like, stone, um, uh, like, recorded history things I had to read. I had to find them all. God, I remember that. I hated, I legit hated that. In Breath of the Wild. So glad I don't have to do that again. Yeah. This had to do. Yeah. Lear Learnings of the Zora Part 8. The Princess of Hyrule as told by Prince Sidon. Yeah. Once that despic despicable disaster had ceased to plague Zora's domain, it dist it a distinguished yet humble lady paid us a visit. This young woman who appeared with Link at her side was none of the Princess Zelda of the Roy oh, this is a new one. I guess this is after the uh, after the calamity. I beg forgiveness, she said earnestly, because of the royal family, Princess Maifa. She paused, unable to continue. Small, silent teardrops tumbled down her cheek and hit the floor. 
one after another, each saying a thousand unspoken words. She gently wiped her eyes and lifted her gaze to meet the king's speaking kind words of gratitude for Mifa's sacrifice. We knew well that what had transpired was the result of a decision shared by the Zora and my princess Mifa herself. There was no need for the princess of Hyrule's apology, even less so for her sorrow. King Dorofin, along with the rest of the Zora, were moved by the depths of Princess Zelda's sincerity. She had held that unthinkable disaster at bay for nearly a hundred years, with nothing more than the sheer force of her own will. Yet, she was not prideful. She dutifully set to work, traveling across Hyrule to secure cooperation for the kingdom's restoration. She was adored by all, yet so humble. She possessed an inner strength that shone like a star in the night sky. I used to think that inner strength could be forged by building physical strength, but now I'm not so certain. I feel a strong calling one day, uh, one day acquire the same sort of strength within myself. That was, that was, that was beautiful, Sayed. I didn't know you had it in you. And you. Alright. A little cockeyed. You're a little bit crooked there, buddy. But I think we can make this work. I don't need that. You won't be needing this. This might be a bit excessive, but it should work. What? Thank you. Keep me up there for 30 seconds or so. Mind? Grab the fucking thing! Jeez, game. Uh, I really should be counting how long it, uh, how long reverse reverse spell lasts, but. I imagine it's like I thought like twenty seconds, but I'm only guessing. Let's try that now. Come on. There we go. Alright, that might actually work. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I can't stand here forever. I know. All right, try letting go. What are you doing? You going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Sweet. Did the job. All right, how's the president standing? Oh, right. Let's get him secured. Let's just, just kind of speed through this. The same thing every time. Excuse me. Perfect. Thanks for helping me, proudly and firmly. Yep, 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 yep. 20 rupees, yep. 
Must be hungry. Yep, yep, yep. Don't think enough. Oh, metal butt. Thank you. All right. All right. Go to other places and I'm off. Okay. Hi. Guy yeah, gets on my nerves. Well, these guys might have weapons. Which one's the silver one? There is no silver one. Ow. I guess that would make a lot of sense, would it? <laughs> Rachel, get back here! Oh, right. My god. Nuked him! Where's Rishu? Rishu. There we go. That's how you nuke a lizard. I think I see a cave over there. No, but I thought. Well, I found a cave. I mean, it's no, uh, no Zora spear. And, and now it is a Zora spear, right, Dainave? So I just picked up a sword. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a spear. And I'm pretty sure I got a sword. Yeah. Okay. Oh god, I forgot about them. Ludo's channel. Ludo. Why is Ludo's Why does that name Ludo sound familiar? Treasure chest. Oh, huh, okay. Cool. Well, oh, that's why I did a shield expansion. Let's see what happens. Ow! Takes as good as we time, that's for sure.
So way over there, so Ludo, why does that name sound so familiar? So much has happened. Oh no, don't tell me you're gonna pull this shit. It's moss, you idiot. Don't be huffing and puffing, you could have made that. You chose not to. Wait, was that? No, that was a different treasure chest, right? Was it? I don't know. Glory sword, no thanks. Again, that's moss. You can grab hold of that. You can, you know. These days, I'm gonna have this memorized. So, is this, is this a dead end? Yeah, I guess it is. That's not really what I wanted to. Hmm. Obviously, that's not the way to go. channel. Hmm. Bet you. I bet you that's the other side of it. for the frogs I can find. Just because. Learnings of the Zora Part 4. Two sisters of different blood as told by Prince Sidon. When I was young, I had the irrational fear of strangers. I was particularly bashful around Yana. Paralyzed, even. I forgot to do my uh, Sidon voice earlier. She was already so mature in manner, and she treated me like a little brother, even though we were not related. There came an unseasonably heavy rain that quickly flooded the river. Us children who were playing there were swept away. I was battered by the water's strong flow, my fins helpless to resist. It was Yona who dragged me to the safety of the shore. The water continued to swell as the shore waned, but Yona was unflappable sweetly comforting me as I shivered in fear. It was Maifa, my dear sister, who finally showed up to rescue us and the other Zora adults in tow. I still remember Yona's face when she gazed up at Maifa in admiration. My face must have looked the same as I gazed at Yona. As a child, I had two big sisters, one by birth, 
one by chance. Yona looked up to Maifa, and I was in awe of them both. Before I knew it, years had passed, and my feelings for Yona became more difficult to quantify. Then one day, my father informed me that the amazing young woman, who had once been like a sister to me, was to be my bride. Perhaps these feelings and memories were too dear and private to commit to history, but such is the tale of the Zora Prince. Hmm. These are whole new stories. Well, not stories. And recordings, really. <laughs> Oi! Well, maybe I was wrong about this being the other side of the entrance. Uh. All right. Well, I was I was wrong. What? What? What's happening? Oh. Whatever, you got nothing to worry about me. Don't piss me off and I won't piss you off, okay? <laughs> oh, for me, I thought it was coming at me. Well, I don't know. snowing over here? Not really. Hmm. I remember walking this all throughout uh, Breath of the Wild, this area. No, I'm, I don't think I'm doing any uh, swimming at the moment, so... Let me go! Let me run! I guess I'm not looking for any caves tonight. It's already 11 and I gotta, I gotta end the stream soon anyway. Oh. Didn't really want to do a lot of reading, but whatever. Sure. I'm already here. The Learnings of the Zora, Part 6, The Story of Mypha Court, the beginning as told by Prince Sidon. Ugh. Excuse me. There was once a terrifying monster on the Palamas Mountain, losing sh Oh, yeah. Oh, the Lionel, I think. Losing shock arrows on all who dared to cross its path. It was utmost importance to drive the beast away, but as the Zora are weak to electricity, our efforts were futile. That is when a lone Hillian arrived at the domain. This swordsman, who was spar who was sparring with his words, <laughs> that's for sure, who was sparring with his words. His name was Link. Unlike us, Zora, he was immune to shocks. Well, perhaps that is an exaggeration, but one thing is certain: he was very brave. After careful preparation, he ascended Polymus Mountain and defeated the foul beast all by himself. As if in celebration of the newfound peace, clean water mysteriously began flowing at the top of Polymus Mountain. <clears throat> that is when many Zora, if not most, voiced support for building a palace at top. They built a palace that all could enjoy that formerly frightful post. Wait, wow, I have not been up there. I don't know if there being a palace. Yet many of the tree roots and stones made this task tricky, leading to the focus on the no less difficult matter of the name. Zora Park was too obvious. Polymus Park, only conjured images of the former terrors found there. When I candidly asked whether we should focus on the hard work at hand rather than the name, they all turned my way. Prince Sidon, they asked. Surely you must have a good suggestion to that. 
No, to that I fell silent, and stayed so for a long time. I shall write the conclusion of this story with another monument. All right. Yeah, I can just... Well, I... Hold on. Isn't this it? That's not it. Oh, is this it? My oh, oh, it's oh, it's my Fakor. I didn't realize this was this was the mountain where I fought the Zora. Oh shit! Hmm, silly me. I thought it was like over here or something. Hmm. Okay, all right. Well, maybe there. Oh my god. Well, I mean, the stream didn't, like, didn't accomplish everything I wanted to, but I also started late tonight. I had other things to work on and stuff, but I got some stuff done. Have I haven't been over here. Man, I don't even remember. Don't even remember. Obviously, I'm wasting my uh, munitions. Really? I find that I find that difficult to believe. Finally. Nice. Go get your friend. Oh, it's like a gift. It's like a gift. <laughs> Why would you put your explosives all the way up there? Thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. Okay. Now. Go as well as I had hoped, but fine. Yep. Oh, oh. Well, I will, uh... Oh, jeez.
<laughs> I think I ruined a good night's sleep for this guy. <laughs> Damn it, Reju, where are you? <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. I love that attack. Just nuke him with lightning. It's a beautiful thing. You telling me? That's not a cave, is it? That's a shadow. God, even... I'm just a quick jaunt I'm so far away. Oh, that's definitely not a okay. cave. That would be awesome. Where am I? <laughs> Where the hell am I? Ah. Uh. Been here? Oh yeah, well I yes I have. Ah, this is what I was thinking. This one won't turn the game off. I know I got you soon. It's one of those one of those situations. I know what I have to do, I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. Sorry, didn't mean to tire you out. Ow. Oh, wait, are we heading towards a, uh, Lionel? Actually, no. No, well, yes. Yes and no. Whatever. Oh, wait. Lionel's still dead. He is alive again. We don't. We don't want to mess him. At least I don't want to mess him. Prepare for rhyming speed. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, well, I, I did. All right. Um, just call it a night. Um, this was a little bit directionless, but yeah. it's been a long day for me too. All right. Oh, and tonight's Wednesday. Which means tomorrow's, which means tomorrow is Thursday. That's usually how it works. Uh, so I won't be streaming tomorrow. Uh, I'll, and Friday, I 
will be streaming, but I'll I might be doing another Lego build or or a Lego type build. Like it's not gonna be Lego exactly. It's just a, I don't know, Flacco or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But anyway, I'll be doing like a Lego build on Friday. Anyway, so I'm done for the night. Uh, I got I don't even know what I got done. Just kind of meandering about tonight. Anyway, I'm I'm done. If uh, you know, no no one's in chat tonight, which yeah, you know, okay, it happens. So if anyone's out there lurking, I appreciate the lurk. I'm Jim Classic. You have been watching Game It, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.